Catherine Fest Forum. Hello, those hello friends. We are discuss about the interface theorem. Is this theorem is most important in quantum mechanics? According to this theorem, the average value of position coordinates is equal to the average values of momentum and average moment of moment. Uh, uh, linear momentum equal to average of force on the one so today we are derived the first condition first statement average of x equal to average of px divided by m let's disc let's discuss about this and how we derive these uh, equations let's proofs this x this x will x be a position coordinate of the particle be the be the position coordinate of particle at any stand of time t then expectation values of x is equal to Minus infinity to infinity, psi asterisk x cap psi dx divided by minus infinity to infinity, psi asterisk psi dx. That's that's equal to minus infinity to infinity. Psi asterisk x psi dx divided by 1 because this is the normalized condition so its value is equal to 1 and here x cap equal to x because x is a operator so we can write x equal to x cap so uh, a brace of x equal to minus infinity to infinity psi asterisk x psi dx this is equation one let us suppose this is equation one now we differentiating this equation with respect to time because we need to the this expression so we differentiating this equation with respect to time dx to average divided by dt equal to minus infinity to infinity this is operator so here x is here so del by del t psi asterisk psi of dx that implies d average of x divided by dt equal to minus infinity to infinity x del psi asterisk by del t of psi plus psi asterisk del psi by del t this is dx and this is equation 2 we know from the Schrodinger wave equations from Schrodinger wave equation for time dependent I'm like we know 
The short answer why we question is I yes got del psi by del t equal to minus s cut square by 2m into del square psi divided by del x square plus b of psi. From this we calculate del psi by del t equal to 1 by i s cut minus s cut square by 2m del square psi by del x square plus v of psi this is equations star now now we take this complex conjugate of this equation is star we take complex conjugate of this star is this star have this is complex conjugate so the this i must be negative and this psi must be psi asterisk therefore del psi star divided by del t equal to 1 by I s cut negative minus s cut square by 2m del square psi by del x square plus v of psi asterisk this is equation second star substituting the these values substituting the equation star and double star we get in equation sorry in equation 2 we get one by i s cut one by i s cut minus s cut square by 2m minus infinity to infinity x psi asterisk del square psi by del x square minus psi del square psi star divided by del x square of all dx dear students dear students here we must there is a tricky points this tricky point is here 1 by i s cut minus s cut square by 2m minus infinity to infinity x into del by del x psi star del psi by del x minus psi del psi star by del x into dx dear students here the derivative of this term is must be equal to this you can simplify at your home and now we using the product rule u and v we know the product rule of u v dx equal to u v dx minus du by dx v dx whole dx this is the our formula this is the our formula so using this formula we get minus s cut by 2 i m x times the student share b x is the derivative of this terms must be psi star del psi by del x minus psi del psi by del x 
minus 1 the derivative of this x by using this derivative of du by dx u is must be equal to x so the derivative of u dx by dx is equal to 1 du by dx is equal to 1 and this next term is psi star del psi by del x minus psi del star by del x whole dx we know students here the psi here this psi is the wave function and this wave function is well behaved so so x is this relation from this if x tends to plus minus infinity then if we write psi star psi must be zero then the first term of this above relations then the first term of above above relation here is a relations the first terms if the psi is zero and also psi is zero then the zero minus zero gives zero so here is a s cut by 2 i m minus infinity to infinity psi star del psi by del x minus psi del psi star by del x whole dx if we find the values of d psi by dx and d psi star by dx then we finally compute the d average of x divided by dt is equal to this so we calculate these values by using the average that means expectation of the momentum now the expectation of momentum is px is equal to minus infinity to infinity psi star px of psi into psi dx here the px is a, uh, a linear momentum operator so its value is px equal to minus i s squared del y del x then minus infinity to infinity psi star minus i s squared del y del x of psi into dx now the term minus i s cut is constant so take outside the integrations minus infinity to infinity psi star del psi by del x all dx therefore the integration of minus infinity to infinity psi star del psi by del x dx equal to average of px divided by minus i s cut similarly similarly taking the complex conjugate taking complex conjugates if we take the complex conjugate of this if we take the complete conjugate of this then we get minus infinity to infinity psi star complete conjugate psi sorry psi psi star complete conjugate psi and psi is a complex conjugate del psi star by del x equal to 1 by i s cut 1 by i s cut average of px after substituting these two values after substituting the, these two values in equations this equation this we get the results dx by dt equal to 
minus 2 s cut average of px divided by 2 m s cut i square after simplifying this we get px by m the first condition the first condition of this theorem is completely proved for more for mother for further videos you can subscribe my channel and likes and share thank you